Yo, what's going on guys? Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. First off, I want to start off by saying everyone, Merry Christmas. Uh, for people who do not celebrate Christmas, Merry whatever day it is to you, whatever you may celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything and you are sourpuss, um, hello. <laughs> hello, how you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. Um, thank you guys for watching the video, <laughs> I guess. Now, for everyone else, um, today, I guess today would be more of an update video. Won't be any gameplay today because, you know, I'm grinding like everybody else. All you guys, I grind too. I don't instantly just come with everything. Now, do I go full grind mode? No. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. Nothing requires me to full grind mode, so I'm just chilling, taking my time. Now, I wanted to give a couple updates that I mentioned. Uh, one update being doctor. You guys probably noticed. No doctor video yet. Now, I'll tell you why. Let me show you why, actually. So, in my current situation, right, I ended up screwing up and forgetting to trade for doctor mats about a, last month, I believe. Oh, well, we're not even there. Now, because of that, it has set me back a little bit. Now, I was going to originally rush it in co-op, but I don't want to do co-op. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't want to do it. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing is waiting to the end of the month because we're really close to it, which is uh, about a week, less than a week. Now, I'm probably gonna end up waiting to the end of the month and just trading for it naturally. I know, take a little bit longer for the video to come out. Forgive me, but my motivation to do co-op is at a low standard. All we gotta do Oxus farming. I don't wanna trade. I don't wanna do no co-op for it. First of all, doing Neptune is boring, and I don't want to do it. So, it's how it is, it's only one boss too. It's really annoying. Had to be a Neptune. Thanks. Neptune has low health, but it's like ah. But this is my current progress. I think I end up making it dark. I did ask on stream what element people wanted me to make it. Uh, I was going to make it water if I wanted to rush the class, but because I became lazy, I'm just going to end up making it dark. So hopefully, people who wanted me to make it dark, well, I'll have a dark one. So that's one thing I wanted to give an update to. Next thing I want to give an update to is, as I mentioned earlier, I've been farming Akasha. So you guys are probably wondering uh, what's my progress on it. Um, do tell me your guys' progress on it. Uh, I wanted to know. So to tell me, I'm going to show you my progress in a minute when I get to the the long. Man, can we get some better menus in this game, bro? <laughs> this, take, this takes too long. So you can see here in the treasure trade that I'm almost halfway that goal is 300 it takes 300 to buy out um all akasha's weapons and full limit break them if you didn't know these weapons come match limit break and then after you match limit break them you have to full limit break them by trading in her hollow keys so for those people who didn't know that now you know now i'm, I'm almost halfway done uh i'm at 147 halfway would be 150 so I should be finished in a couple days. So do expect videos out on these weapons. Do note the bow is going to be a rough one because I didn't pull uh, the Christmas units. And speaking of that, do tell me how your luck has been with the gotcha pin spinner. I can't believe they brought the spinner back, which is pretty cool. Um, my luck has been complete non-existent. I, I, all my luck has been dried up. I, I don't know what happened. Dragalia lost, but took it all because I have been suffering. I think I'm about so far 90 rolls into the banner, not one SSR. So I've been having really bad luck. Do tell me how you guys have been. What did you roll? Don't tell me too much though, because if you tell me too much, I'm gonna delete your comment at anger. So if you, you pull Siva URL, what, if you pull Siva and URL in, in uh, Temple, just don't comment. Don't comment to me. I'm gonna delete your comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking. <laughs> do not comment, bro. <laughs> you gonna make me mad. <laughs> So uh, do tell me how your do tell me how your rolls went. Just don't tell me when your rolls are really broken, because I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> so I do have a gotcha pin coming up tomorrow, I believe. Due to my bad luck, I do get my pity roll. So thank you, thank you, side games, because I'm not having good luck right now. Um, I didn't even pull Yai. I didn't pull any of the, the Christmas units. This has been a really bad season for me. I didn't pull not a summer unit, no Christmas units. Golly, this has been a rough year. Uh, 
Uh, oh, well, this banner will be leaving. You can probably tell I haven't pulled the star premium gotcha. I don't want to buy it though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> I didn't buy the star eight nights either. So we'll pass bro, I'll a pass. <laughs> uh, and other news, you may want to know my rank. So we did get notice that they are increasing our rank cap. Like at the end of every year, they increase the rank cap to two, up usually 25. So um, right now we're at 225 and I'll be pushing it to 250. So right now I want to personally at least get 220 while half co-op is going on. That's my game plan. If not, oh well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I do want to keep up with the current rank cap, so I'm trying to make ways to get there. If I don't, well, I tried. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'm able to grind it out. I don't want to do co-op, but <laughs> maybe that maybe I can farm um, Neptune to help boost my rank up as well. We'll see though. We'll see. I do note. When you see the video, you know how it's gonna be. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know whether I did it <laughs> or if I didn't do it. So <laughs> that's got a good indication to tell did I do it or not. But that's about it, really. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to mention. We got Kasha farming. We got Doctor. We got the Gotcha pin or the Gotcha spin. But I think the name of the um the free ten roll things are. The one to keep, oh, got to pin frenzy. That's what it's called. Right, right, right. I, there's a lot of names in this game. I'm trying to keep up with everything. Oh, there's one more thing. So, um, before I go now in this game, they actually added a new, t uh, trophy system. So they added more trophies to the game. And what I was trying to do is I was thinking about doing a free to play version of each. Well, well let's get to the first. So if you go to battle records, you get there by going into um, trophies, go into trophy, go to battle trophies, and then in battle trophies, go to uh, battle record. After battle record, go all the way to the fifth tier. So you can see here that Ultimate Bahamut, um, Tiamat Malice, Anubis, Hector, Morgana, Gilgamesh, Kalinog, the Whale, Prometheus, and Rose Queen. Each of them have a reward being a gotcha ticket or for um, Ultimate Bahamut, you get a, uh, a uh, what's this called? A red rank. So for soloing these. Now what I wanted to do was try to build free to play teams. So and solo each one of them. Cause you guys probably know most of these I've already soloed, if not all of them. Besides Team Out Malice, I've been soloing them all. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I obviously cannot do a free to play version for uh, Ultimate Bahamut. It's not possible. To be honest, Team Out Malice is probably not possible either. Free to play. It's just like some of these bosses are just, they require a lot. You need, you need a lot of stuff. I've been trying it. I'm gonna start doing it today. I actually did try Gilgamesh free to play. I ended up dying actually. Um, I actually lowered my stats too to be more common to what you guys will have. So like around 10k health, uh, some characters even below 10k. Trust me, I don't I don't even remember the last time my characters have below 10k health. So uh, this is all new territory for me, bro. Um, I actually did Gilgamesh, I believe, and I ended up losing Kokoro. And then I ran out of healing, so I gotta like figure out my strategy a little bit better, make it a little bit cleaner. Um, you probably know that I did Ultimate Bahamut. Um, so I ended up dying at 1% again. <laughs> I, I don't know why I, I choked. <laughs> so what ended up happening was that I had Uno. I think the ball was at 3% or something. And I used Uno skill two before using a skill three. So I should have used a skill three, but I ended up choking at the end and ended up getting me killed. Oh, well, well, it happens. We can't do it. That's so many turns because I don't have the, um, the ship on right now if you didn't know your cruise ship can actually boost your elemental damage but i don't have it because my ship is on uh, earth at the moment so i'm trying to do water now uh it, this would be a lot easier if i had a cruise ship buff i may have to leave crew and join a crew where i can get the ship buff because the ship buff they actually matter a lot they make they make soloing a lot easier because you get that huge damage boost that really inflates your overall damage 
per I would prefer to not use it, but it's just free. It's free damage. How do you say no to free damage? Is the thing. I don't find it really logical to say no to it. So because of that, I kind of rely on it, at least for Ultimate Bahamut. I may have you have to rely on it for Team on Malice as well, because. Right now, my fire team does not enough damage to keep up with the amount of damage I'm taking in a fight. I actually got pretty close to soloing it, but that's without the um, the, the crew buff. I think with the crew buff, I can actually finish it no problem. But I'm I'm kind of depending on that, so I may have to change crews just so I can keep the to keep the crew buff up for myself. Now, do tell me how you guys feel about that. Do you guys think it's worth for me to do solos, free to play version of them, like? Gilgamesh and stuff. Like I'll give you a little example. Like I was doing this with Gilgamesh. Um, I brought Farah for her Overdrive Ogi. She does have um, the ability to grab aggro and do a 50% damage cut. Kokoro is for healing. Um, the only other option for healing is Christina and Cellfire. So Wind doesn't have that many good healers. Gilgamesh does do a lot of health when your health is below one k, uh, below 10k. So because of that, I have to bring a healer. Uh, Monica, because she's a monster, she like completely like wrecks the raid. Um, she does end up dying sometimes because of mistakes that I made. So, what I'm finding to be the hardest problem right now is the um, the summons. <laughs> you can probably tell with my summon stats they're bad. <laughs> I lower them really low, right? Because I want to mimic what you guys have. Um, as I mentioned, this is free to play, so I'm using Greya for the spell for his attack buff. And I'm using um, the one monk to boost my overall damage output because my damage is really low. I didn't bring a full harp grid because I know people are going to complain. Well, I don't have a full harp grid. So to avoid that, I just brought guns. So I don't have to hear people. You both tell I don't have a Bahamut. I actually didn't bring out Bahamut to lower my overall HP to be near what you guys may have. So. Uh, I'm going to take time and figure this out a little bit more. I didn't put no plus on my grid either. No, no nothing. Um, I don't even have much investment in the, any of these characters. Like Kokoro, I have nothing. Monica's has nothing. So I'm trying to make it as humanly possible <laughs> to be near what people other than myself would have, right? So I'm just trying to make it like that. She has a little investment into her due to her over mastery bonus, but that's something that anyone can roll with the rings that you get from the story events. I may have to ring them, to be honest, to make it a little bit easier for myself. I don't know yet, but I am going to try to figure out ways to make free to play versions of each boss. Um, do look out for that. That's going to be next year though. Um, what I wanted to do this year was to do a video on my inventory for each game I play. Because if you didn't know, I do play other games besides Grand Blue. Uh, I was primarily Grand Blue only for like the last two years. But since this year, I've been kind of branching out and playing other games. I now play Epic 7. You also, I also play Dragalia Lost. You may see a Dragalia Lost video. Usually um, the High Dragons whenever I clear them. Because they are the hardest content in that game. And I like to clear them remotely early if I can. Uh, that's my game plan at least sometimes. Like Brunhild, it took me a couple of days because I didn't have enough stats to get into it, sadly. But uh, I do play that as well. I also play Fire Emblem Heroes. I haven't actually did a video on Fire Emblem Heroes in a while. I think the only video I've ever done on it was a rolling video where I saved up a bunch of orbs and rolled. Um, to, be, to be honest, for me, Fire Emblem Heroes is more of a waifu game. I just collect the characters I like in the game. I'm not really a fan of the gameplay style. Too simple for me. Um, and I don't really like Arena being so armor he heavy. I never liked that. So. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy those videos when we go into my boxes in each video. Uh, I may do another game other than those four. But those are the main four that I currently play at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys like it. If not, well, I'm sorry, I guess. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And bye-bye.